The new library at the Pacific Institute of Leadership and Governance replaces the original building, which was gifted to the then territories of Papua and New Guinea by Australia in 1966. Today, Deputy Prime Minister David Stephen and Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs and Women, Maurice Spain, unveiled a plaque officially opening the new library. This uh, important facility today is it, it represents and reiterates our, our government's firm belief that nations rise and fall on the shoulder of leadership. Library in an education center plays a vital role in grooming citizens and public servants, says Public Service Minister Wesley Nukunj. And now with the resources in the new library, PILAG has the capacity to progress. I am delighted that with the new library and new books to be on the shelves, PILAG is set to commence building the next generation of leaders for our country. Uh, not only PNG, but also for the Pacific region. The library has several sections that contains different collections of books. It includes the general collection, children's collection, and special collections which includes for Australian former senator for the state of Queensland, the Russell Trude Collection. All of these facilities support the education of a new generation of leaders. They provide staff and students with the space that's required for high quality education, tuition and research. The library is the fifth and final major construction through the PILAG precinct. Others include the new PILAG administration building, the business and public policy building at UPNG, new lecture theatre and student services building. Patricia Chiamo, National MTV News.